Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Go check out my website at skyazrael.com for life coaching and mentoring. It's bright and early, daily discipline, mind, body, and soul. This is how we get through. Sunday, I'm going to do my study group for warriors. Got a couple new subscribers. Every Sunday, this is how we get down. I do a study group. I basically just go through my notes and try to give people a little bit extra to think about for the day. Not everybody needs it. Some people just want to hear more stories. That's all you're here for. You write me these emails and say, I don't mind your other content, but I really just want to hear more about gangs. Then go join a gang then, motherfucker. Jesus Christ. I'm not here to entertain you. I'm here to spit game. So let's get into it. Let's spit some game on Sunday. We had a riot in Ireland. I don't know if you've been following it. I liked what Conor McGregor said in response. And I agree that illegal immigration has gone too far. It's gotten out of control in every country in Europe, in every country in Western civilization, Canada, America, Australia, England, all of it. The most common name in Germany. Oh, it's not Hans or Franz like you might have thought. Ludwig, no, no, no. The most common name in Germany is Mohammed. There's more Mohammeds than anybody else. There's more Muslims in Germany than anybody else. What does it mean to be a German? Apparently nothing anymore. You have no country. It's happening everywhere. But you may have to stand up. At some point, you may have to decide, I'm going to take back my turf. This is my turf. You may not feel that way about your country. I feel that way about my country. My family has fought for this country and died for this country. We didn't come here as half-breed refugees escaping some kind of potato famine or whatever the hell your family came here from begging for a new life. We came here as conquerors in 1730 as colonialists to create a new land. And yes, yes, we killed the fucking Indians. Yes, we took this country by force. Yes, and you're welcome, you fucking bitch. You don't like it? Go the fuck back to whatever shithole you came from. It might be time to take back our fucking turf from all these goddamn illegal immigrants. You don't like this kind of message, then fucking bounce. I don't care what you fucking like. I'm sick of it. So I stand with Conor McGregor on this shit, 100%. I stand with him shoulder to shoulder with this. Take back Ireland. Take back Ireland. Take your turf back. Who on the next one? Here's a controversial statement. Now, I read this article written by a black guy who was talking about this. So I know some of you are going to get pissed off, but this message is coming directly from a black man, and it's, it was written to other black people. I forget, it was in The Root, one of these black publi publications. You can't blame every foul thing you do on white people. Is abandoning your family the white man's fault? Is it my fault that you can't be a man and stay in your household and raise that kid? You had to move out. You had to leave. It's everybody else's fault but yours. It's the white man's fault. It's her fault. But it's not your fault. You abandoned your family. How many of you men have abandoned your families? Whose fault is it? You can't blame every foul thing you do on white people. Gangs. Crips, Bloods, BGs, GDs. It's all my fault. That's my fault. That's a white man's fault that you join a gang. I grew up in the hood. Not everybody joined a gang. Some people did. Lots of people did. I did. I joined my first gang at age 10, but not everybody did. It was a choice. Oh, there's lots of people in the hood that went to school instead of skipping school, that went and got jobs at McDonald's instead of selling, selling crack. They went to a community college and saved their money for it and worked two jobs to pay for it and lived in the ghetto. Not everybody is forced to. It's not systemic racism why you join the Crips or Bloods, you stupid shithead fuck. It's your own fucking choice. Take responsibility for your own fucking life, you fucking loser. It's not my fault. It's not the white man's fault that you're a fucking gangbanger. How about rape? How about the rape statistics? 
all these fucking women getting raped in the Walmart parking lot. You don't know about that? Walmart parking lots are where the women are getting raped. Walmart refuses to do anything about it. And guess who's doing it? It's not my fault that you go around raping fucking white women. Your whole culture is based on fucking drug dealing and gangsterism. And whose fault is that? Is it my fucking fault? Take responsibility for your fucking damn self. Let's move on to the next one. What's more important? Freedom or safety? Now that's a political question because most Republicans and conservatives would say, and libertarians would say, freedom. Freedom is more important than your safety. Absolutely. But liberals and Democrats will answer with a resounding, a unified message of safety is more important than freedom. Your freedoms don't matter. Fuck your freedoms. Oh, you narcissist, you shithead. You think it's all about you? We have a whole society here. So this is a battle that we have. Safety or freedom? Freedom or safety? I mean, should we even have laws? This is where I, sometimes I get frustrated with the hardcore libertarians who are so anti-government. Should we even have laws? You might say no. That all laws are restrictions upon my freedom. So what about stop signs? Should we not have stop signs? Is that an, a, an, an infraction upon your freedom? It restricts your freedom too much? Should we have labor laws? Or should we just let capitalism work it out? We should have child slavery in this country and it's up to you as a consumer to just not buy the products made by child slaves and maybe hopefully, fingers crossed, that they'll just go out of business because that's capitalism. Should we not even have laws? Where do we draw the line with your freedom or safety argument? Where's the fucking line? Should we make murder legal? Everybody just protect themselves. We could just live in a fucking purge society with no laws, no laws at all, no order, no structure, nothing. Because your freedom is the most important thing. Or should we go the other way with it and have a fucking utopian dictatorship? You notice all utopias, all utopias are dictatorships. That's why you've got to be really careful about these postmodernists trying to tear down statues and tear down history and tear down everything and try to create this fucking utopia. They're trying to create a goddamn socialist dictatorship. That's what they're doing. Where do we draw the line with freedom or safety? Let's go to the next one. Here's a statement that's kind of hard to figure out. I wrote this down without really thinking much about it, so let's think about it together. Behavior is a result of physical processes in your brain. So behavior is biological. Isn't that weird? Your choice, the decisions you make, are driven by chemical processes, electrochemical processes. There's this theory that you don't really have a free will and that every choice you make, the desires you have, the needs you think you have, the decisions you think you're making are all driven by a biological process. Chemicals determine whether you're hungry. Chemicals and electro, electronic signals fired in your brain across neurological pathways, th that's an actual physical process is what creates your feelings, your sadness, your anger. It's a weird way to think. Let's move on to the next one. If outside factors affect your decisions or choices? Do you really have a free will? So a lot of people like to say that they didn't have a choice. A lot of people say that their decision was caused by someone else or something else. It's always an outside factor that made you choose what you chose. So if, if that's what you believe, and a lot of people do honestly believe that, they kind of look at themselves as pinballs in a pinball machine, just getting bounced off of walls and bumpers. They're not really in control of their path or their direction. Constantly in a reactionary state with the world. Or is our species just simply reacting? And that's all we do all day is react. And how does that affect your decisions? 
if you're reacting to outside stimulus, do you really have a free will, a choice? Don't circumstances curb your choices? The circumstance is what rules you, not your own free will, right? Let's move to the next one. This brings us to determinism. Is everything determined? Predestined? Predestination? Has everything been written? Is there a script? Are we actors in a play? Are we in a simulation? In a game? Is there anything true about fate? It was written in the stars. This was meant to happen. Some people believe in fate. It was fate. It was meant to be. Some people truly believe that everything happens to some grand plan. So if, if you believe in determinism and that's your thing, how do you justify the notion of free will? How do you go around saying that you have free will? If, if you believe in determinism, you have no free will. So here's the next one, but we want to ask ourselves, what's free will? Because maybe you're just sitting here thinking, well, I have free will, but now that you mention it, I'm not exactly sure what free will is. Well, free will is responsibility for our actions. Do you take responsibility for your actions? If you do, if you're willing to take responsibility for your actions, then you have free will. Let's go to the last one. We can end here. And stay on this free will topic. I mean, I have five more pages. <laughs> we can get into all kinds of stuff, but... Telling people that they have no free will turns people into morally irresponsible, incompetent idiots. It, telling people, there, and there's a lot of philosophers out there, scientists as well, that are coming to these conclusions lately. I watched several videos about this exact topic and there were some of the smartest people on planet Earth that all have the opinion that there's no such thing as free will. It's a fantasy. People pushing that line of thought, telling people that they have no free will is evil and it's a manipulation. Do not believe them. They are trying to manipulate you. They are trying to make you morally incompetent. They are trying to turn you into an irresponsible adult so they can rule you. That's what's going on here. You're being turned into a fucking slave and you don't even know it. Food for thought.